so yeah, that's just getting long as weird. So I'm just kind of at this point going on vacation. We are on a train between Montreal and Quebec City. Just got off of our plane a few hours ago. On the way there now. Got to get some nice relaxed time after being up at 5.30 this morning. Gonna be in Quebec City around 8.30, 9 p.m. tonight. Get some rest in city tomorrow. of what this cruise is like. We are here at 8 in the morning, a lang time. It is snowing. A bunch of the crew who have probably never seen snow before are having fun throwing snowballs. That's amazing. Um, I can't sleep because it's foggy and the horn is going off and right near our room. So, um, you know, we have breakfast. But this is what a... Um, North Atlantic. Yeah, a, a North Atlantic cruise. This is not tropical paradise. Hey, good morning. We are here off the coast of Prince Edward Island, about to pull into Charlotte Town. If all goes well, we're going to try and do some duck pin bowling. So that should be a fun start to the bowling part of this vacation. Hopefully, we have a good day. Uh, let's go ahead and go short. Hey, a quick word here from post vacation Jason. I'm going back to work tomorrow, but I'm working on this video. I want to add a couple of notes right here, which are pretty important. One, throughout the part, this part of the video, I'm going to call this duck pin. That is not duck pin. This is Canadian five pin bowling. Five pin is distinct from duck pin. Duck pin uses similar pins and similar balls, but there are 10 pins up there rather than five pin, which has five pins and some weird scoring related to that. But that's the number one thing. Number two thing is the place we're at. I didn't get a lot, I didn't get much video talking to the folks there, but they were awesome. We're going to go bowling at the alley, which is in in Charlottetown uh, PEI, and it is fantastic. The, the guys that are running it were great. They were friendly. They came over and chatted a bit, told me a little bit about the house. I should have recorded them. I should have interviewed them. I didn't. I'm sorry. I was on vacation, but keep that in mind. If you're ever up in Prince Edward Island for whatever reason and you want to go bowling, do it. Go visit it. Back to the video. Hey, folks. We are here in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. We are doing duck pin. I want to throw my first frame. I got zero. Um, I need to slow down and just sort of just let the ball go down the lane a bit. Um, it's cool though. It's hey. Nope. <laughs> well, I'm I'm throwing it like like a ten pin ball. I can't get myself yeah. to stay yeah. <laughs> to stay behind it. Head pin. Spare. I am not figuring out a little bit. Oh my God, so bad. Ruined my spare. Oh no. Oh no. Yep. Oh no, string pins. String pins are ruining the game. I got shoot 10 pin. <laughs> I just can't get it to not look a little. There you 
Oh, oh no. Oh no. I, I went full 10 pin on that one. I like, yeah, you did. I cranked it. <laughs> oh, hecking on a spare too. That the, this building is entirely um, accessible. Oh, hey, more lights, because leaks. There's a leak turning down there soon. All right, Cosmic is over. Time for regular lights. Let's see if this makes this any better. It's weird to suddenly be able to see everything. Oh, no. String pins. <laughs> The fill, at least. I don't know what term for that is, but. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Clutching it up. Come on. <laughs> oh, that went so good. All right, so that's duck pin. That was fun, humbling. Um, completely different experience mechanically. Um, my fingertip hurts a lot because the ball kept coming right off of it. So, yep, yeah, duck pin ball. It's like playing ski ball for, for grown ups. I don't actually remember how heavy these balls are. I'll put up a link or put up a comment somewhere in the, in the video. Um, I'll look it up when I get a chance. But uh, it's fun, humbling. Um, but I had a lot of fun with it. It's cool. Um, if I lived up here, I would probably be perfectly happy to be doing this. Can I find a job up here? I'd be cool with it. I'm gonna go ahead out of here, go spend some time doing more touristy things, get some cool food, get some seafood. Um, be outside in the snow, unfortunately, and then back in the ship. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be in Sydney, gonna try, try candle pins, so we'll head there now. Different from Canadian five pin yesterday. Apologies for misnaming it in the whole video thing. Um, this time we actually got 10 pins. Just like that, but there's three balls per frame. You can have some fun with it. That ain't gonna work. Sorry. There we go. I've got a couple of dead pins in front of them. I might be able to do this. <laughs> I'm not sure if it actually counts, but I just nailed a 710 split. That's fun. I don't know if that 710 actually counts. I did knock wood out of the gutter, but you know, still gonna look cool on video. And 10 pin, that would be really cool. I just gotta stop throwing it so dang hard. Can't 
Piano pen is difficult. <laughs> I shot 80 something and 76. It's a challenge. I was more in the middle of the lane today than it was yesterday at five pins, so that's good. But, you know, <sighs> that's it for my bowling adventure here in Canada. I'm gonna go ahead and go get back to the ship. We're gonna spend another five days on the boat, it's a couple of days in New York, and then we'll be home when I edit this video. So, see y'all there. us pulling into New York City. That was the end of the cruise. We still spent two more days in New York City. We went and saw Wicked and went and saw La Boheme, the opera, at the Metropolitan Opera in New York City, which was one of Christie's like big buckles list items. So I was really happy to get that done for her. Then we went and flew home and I'm back. We're back in Chicago, back to Austin. Some nice fall weather after the winter we had up there in Canada. It was fun to get to go up there and try two other forms of bowling. It was a fun, interesting, humbling experience. Gave me some good pointers as far as what my arm slots are, are doing because it really shows up in those forms where you have no oil. And so it, it was cool. Uh, I get to go back bowling in a couple days. It was pretty much no practice in the 10 foot form, so we'll see how that's going to go. But I'm just glad I get a couple weeks off and finish time away from work. And so. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of bowling elsewhere and a little bit of vacation stuff. Then we'll make this a full travel log. That's for a whole different channel. So thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. And um, we'll see how I bowl again in two more days. Good luck and good traveling. <laughs>